Hi, y'all. Uh, so today I want to talk about staying warm in Korea. <laughs> it's November 4th and it's starting to get cold, at least for me. As a Louisiana girl, like, I am totally used to, like, the hot weather of Korea. Like, I have a huge problem with using heaters or air conditioners. I think it's just the way I was raised. My family were, like, really cheap. <laughs> so, in the summer it wasn't a big deal because I just never turned on my air conditioner and I just sweated it out because Louisiana summers are hot and humid, so it's, like, not that big of a deal and I'm cold-blooded, so it's not much of a problem. However, Korean winter is here and I am freaking cold. Cold. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to give you guys some hints on what to do for Korean winter. Especially if you're packing and you're going to get here in March, it's still going to be really cold, so take heed. Alright, the first thing that I absolutely love is layers. Um, and I, we're talking like long sleeve shirt with a sweater, with a jacket, with another jacket on top. Um, I wear leggings underneath my jeans, like right now <laughs> I'm, you know, wool socks, all of it. Your clothing is like one of the most important things you could possibly do. Um, keep your hands, your feet, and your head warm. So I have a ridiculous amount of hats, for example. Um, so like, let's start, okay. This is my Mother Russia hat, right? So if I want to get, you know, attract ex an extra about a, you know, batch of ajashis, I can go with this hat. Extra warm, really nice, right? If I'm not feeling that, then, uh, you know, I could go with this nice knit hat that my high school mentor gave me a long time ago. You know, so I can be a little more blonde and hippie-ish. Or, if I'm feeling super cold, there's always the hat with ear flaps. <laughs> Got this at a good well in Louisiana. So I can rock on when I'm going skiing this winter which I'm so excited for. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so there's hats. Then you've got scarves. So I've got this scarf and this scarf. Sometimes I wear them together in a giant scarf. You know, ah! just like rub it all over my face and put it on my head. Oh, that feels better. Lots of nice and nice and warm. Um, and then of course you have my personal absolute favorites. Um, which is quite frankly just flat out gloves. Um, the one thing I problem I have with gloves is that I listen to my iPod and play on my phone constantly, which really sucks because when you're wearing gloves, you can't use a touch screen. So I have these gloves. They're like fingerless, but if you get cold, mittens, what? Mind blown, right? I freaking love these. I've had these since I was like 10, brought them with me here. They're like the best gloves I've ever owned. Um, even though my mother almost refused to buy them for me because she said they were hillbilly gloves or homeless person gloves or one of those H derogatory word gloves. But ha 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 on her. I love these gloves and they've been saving my life here in Korea. Um, so the next thing besides clothes, um, oh wait, one more thing. I actually really love jackets with um, hoods. I actually went out and bought a jacket. I you know I was complaining about being a tall girl in Korea. I went out, I bought a jacket uh, from Zara, which was really expensive for me, but it's a really warm jacket and it has a hood. I love jackets with hoods because sometimes I do not feel like wearing a hat. They can give you a headache or mess up your hair. And hoods are a great alternative because you don't have to think ahead. It's like already attached to the back of your coat, which is awesome. And you just clip it up and you're good protects your ears and all that stuff. Speaking of ears, um, you can always do ear muffs to keep your ears warm. I know personally I'm lucky in the sense that I have long hair, so that actually really helps. But my ears are still getting kind of cold, so what I like to do is wear like really big headphones. Like I have like the earbuds, I use this for summer, but for winter I have like a huge pair of earphones that I wear, and those actually keep my ears really, really warm. Um, and they're also an Odyssey deterrent, so ha ha ha. Awesome. Okay, so once you get past like the clothing aspect, layers, you know, jackets with hoods, 
um, big headphones, wool socks, like comfortable shoes that insulate well. Let's get to um, once you actually get to your apartment, right? So when I get home after work, which is really cold because at work they don't, they haven't turned on the heat yet, so I'm like sitting there freezing the whole time with a blanket over my legs. Um, when I get home from work, I always go for two things. One is the heated blankets, um, which is really easy to find here in Korea. You can either go to an e-mart, which is kind of like the Korean version of Walmart. Um, that's where I got mine. I know you can go to maybe Home Plus or um, one of those places you can get it. You can also order it off of G-Market, which is like the Korean version of Amazon.com. Um, so that's something you can do as well if you don't feel like actually going in person to the store because you're busy hibernating like I am very tempted to do. Um, and the last uh, thing is you can, or last two things, you can insulate your apartment. Um, I've heard some thoughts about like putting plastic on your windows or like buying heavy curtains to help insulate your apartment. I already have curtains, um, so I'm not going to worry too much about that, especially since I will not probably be using my floor heating ever because I am too cheap. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for that. <laughs> uh, I'm too cheap to use my floor heating, and I hear that it's really expensive, so I'm, like, terrified of doing it. Um, although the one or two times I accidentally left it on after taking a shower and came back, um, you know, later that day, and my floor was nice and toasty warm. It was nice, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't use it all the time because in my office tell it takes a long time for the floor to heat up and it's just really expensive and to me not really worth it um but my uh let's see there's two more things um i really really like this is actually the one i've been using the most heated fans um and actually right now there is a heated fan pointed towards me it's like having your own personal little like fire so like i, I literally come home i turn it on i sit there and i go <sighs> like here you can see it this is my heated fan. It is currently pointing towards me. It's got two settings. Um, I've got it on ungodly boiling lava hot because that is what I'm used to and it's what I like. Um, but, you know, you can do whatever you want as far as that's concerned. Um, and finally, the last thing, if you get really cold and you just don't know what to do, something that actually makes me feel better when I get home from like a really, really cold day at work is I actually do go and put on my animal pajamas, which is why I bought them. <laughs> and you've seen them a million times, so I'm not going to put them on again. But I actually really, really love them so much, actually, that I bought one for... <laughs> I bought one for one of my friends recently, and um, we're going to wear them together and just run around Seoul and be complete goobers together. So, uh, yeah, if you really, really do get cold, you can... Wear all the layers, turn on your heated fan, sit under your heated blanket with your kikari, <laughs> with the floor heating, and insulate your windows, and you just might be able to survive the winter. Um, but that's my advice for right now. As it gets colder, maybe I'll do another one. Um, I've heard that Jim Jabongs actually are a lifesaver as well. You can go sit in the sauna for like a little bit of a reprieve. And I do love Jim Jabongs, so maybe I'll do a review on those in the future. But that's it for now. I love your faces. I will see you next week, I guess. If you have any questions or you want me to talk about something, put it in the comments below. And I will see y'all later. If I don't freeze to death. <laughs> Bye.